What up, everybody? It is me, Super D. How you doing? I'm Bobo. We are the Teschendorf Brothers. Most of you all know us, and if you don't, uh, you probably heard about us. <laughs> yes, yeah, it might be for the best or the worst. You know, we got a uh, mixed reputation. Yes, we do. Uh, but let me get you up to speed a little bit. Me and Bob, we're brothers. Uh, we're very close. We've been close since about, what do you say, 2008 when? Yes, when uh, Dad died. Yeah. Our father, we grew up middle class, just me and him and my other brother Chuck, mom and dad. Uh, uh, well, not to mention, I am 32 years old. And I am 31. And our older brother is about to be 39 years old. So as I was saying, we grew up basically middle class. Um, mom, dad, dad was sick with cancer, diagnosed 1991. Terminal. Terminal. Uh, was one of... 20. I think it was 20, yeah. Yes. That, that took random uh, experimental treatment and it worked. For 16 years. For 16 years. He was in remission uh, until 2007, late 2007, and we lost him early 2008. That's when our family fell apart. <laughs> we never knew that our father was the glue that kept our family together. Right, Bob? That's right. So mom tried to take care of us as well as she could. Um, her grief was so strong that she couldn't make decisions um, with us three boys. Um, there's no secret that I'm a recovering drug addict. As am I. And is our Chuck. older brother. Um, so we were more worried about the substance at that point as opposed to what really mattered, which was family and trying to console my mother during my father's death. And we drove her away. And so she had moved to Florida where she had spent the best 16 months I think she could have spent and then she had passed away in Florida due to a heart attack. So then my older brother and his wife, and he moved down to Florida with her parents, and that left me and Dave, or Dave and I, I should say, together. So we've been together, and we are all we have. We haven't got handouts from anybody. Um, it's no strange uh, known fact that we've been homeless for years due to our addiction. Struggling with um, it. We've worked. It's hard, it was hard to hold a job, um, but I'm proud to say I'm on replacement therapy and so is my brother. And uh, I, I choose not to go into what it is or how much it is because that's really irrelevant. Exactly. Um, the point is, is that we are doing phenomenal now. We are going through a program, um, transitional program to get us into some housing to where we can be a little more comfortable with life and not have to worry about the things that would hinder us from having a home, such as rent or a lecture. Currently, as said for the past couple months, we have been sleeping in a homeless shelter. Yes. We're putting this video out there because they say you're only as sick as your secrets. True. Me and my brother, we're going to stop hiding. We're going to put it all out there. We're going to hopefully let you see the real us. We're going through a transition point in our life. And the progress will speak for itself. That's why these videos, this is all we leave behind. In this world, all you leave behind are pictures and, and memories. That's why at funerals, they have people speak about memories and they have picture boards. That's all that you are, are based and judged upon is memories. And I, or my brother, and or both, don't want to be remembered as a bunch of drug addict assholes. Excuse my language. We are much more than that. We are good people. We help anybody we come across. We are doing good today. Um, I've always been very camera shy. Um, this is the first time I'm doing this, and I think that if I stay doing this, it will help my recovery because I feel that I'm a big proponent on perception does dictate reality. Absolutely. The way you see me in social media, people want to be like those people, like they have perfect lives. Absolutely. Little does everybody know, or anybody know, that people also tend to make a lot of that up because they wish they were living those lives. That is being primal. So, I feel this is me naked, and that's why I'm telling you who I am as a person. I've been a deadbeat father, I have a 12 year old daughter. Um, these are things that I've never spoke out loud, um, only in therapy sessions, but for the whole world to hear is sad. And I do, uh, feel so much guilt and shame towards that. But I believe that if I get better, which I am, and 
time will heal all wounds. It usually does. But I do have a beautiful baby girl. Not even baby anymore. She's 12. Her name's Alexia. That's what this tattoo right here is on my arm. It says Lexi. And that reminds me daily that I have something greater to offer this world than getting high off a substance. And um, I don't want to turn this into a, a rant about drugs. I just want to turn this into a positive thing, as well as my brother. Yeah. This is the journey that we want you guys to come on with us. We're going to leave this behind for our kids, grandkids. Hopefully it'll be a positive message. And uh, you'll see good and bad. Recovery is not a one day thing. No. Um, you will hear stuff you probably didn't know, those that you know who us know us. And uh, it's just a, a thing to encourage you to do better and to encourage us. It's a help me help you. Um, we have a long way to go. And if you didn't know, there are things in place now with certain workers and things from the state. You will see videos of us progressing our life from where we are today at a homeless shelter. We will be getting housing. You'll be along with the ride. You'll be along with the ride for our furniture and things that normal people, so-called normal people, uh, value. And I believe that this, there is no time limit. Once I put time limits on things, I'm setting a bar up for failure. Absolutely. So the much support I can get, I will strongly, strongly thank you guys because I have, my best friend is sitting right here holding the camera. Ditto. And that's all we have. So I was scared to do this, but my brother kind of... Uh, I've been wanting to do this for years. Yes, and uh, we are big wrestling fans. We're, mar we're smarts as they say in the business. We follow the business of professional wrestling. And that's really all we got going for us. So we're gonna start um, going to the gym. You'll be along for that ride. And um, it's very hard to come clean about a lot of the things that I'm sharing with you guys out there. Because nowadays people are automatically judged on things they've done in the past and they just don't get to stay in the past. I believe that there should be given a second chance to everybody who's willing to put in the work. Absolutely. And I think I have, and I think my brother is as well. Absolutely. Anything else you got to say, Dave, to these people? For I, I just hope that you guys don't pass judgment, aren't too harsh on us, and, and really buckle in and get ready for a ride because I've never seen a journey like this on any kind of vlog online. Uh, please like, comment, and share. And... Uh, Keep encouraging us to make these videos because we, we need be it dead. some days. We should be dead right now, honestly. I speak for me. So please help us uh, grow. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you want to see a real life story, nothing is fake about this. And we won't hold this nothing is from you. This a real, real life story of two brothers. That's all we have. Our other brother, we really don't talk too much, but I love him. I won't say his name on camera. We miss him. But I miss him quite a bit. He is in Florida. And, and by the way, this is Milwaukee, Wisconsin we're in. Yes. So we just oh, want yeah. to be able to yeah, let everybody else know that we are getting better. We haven't spoke to many people for quite some time. A couple of years now. Yeah, years. And our family almost disowned us. Well, I should say did once my mom died. So there's not much to do but to go upwards. Like they told me, even if you have to stand still, instead of going backwards, you're still making a better choice. Amen. So I hope all you guys can please take away from this that there is help and hope. And sometimes when you get hungry, angry, lonely, and tired, there's only one way to go in that. So, Amen. so keep your head up, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching this. And I hope you guys subscribe and watch our videos to come and see growth. Bye, guys. See ya.